All right, uh, we've been tied up with things and uh, unable to uh, make it uh, for long trips over to Lake Levon, our local lake, and take out our kayaks. We did go uh, yesterday uh, briefly and tried out the uh, Pelican Catch 100. It's our uh, fishing partner's um, kayak. I uh, like to use the uh, Heritage Featherlight. Um, however, some things that we want to just talk about really quickly about what we like about the Pelican Catch 100. We like that it's wide, coming in at um, uh, 36 inches wide, so uh, three feet. That's very nice, it's very stable. Um, we like the chair, it has two positions. It can be moved up uh, so you stand higher or sit higher in the water, as well as um, low so you can sit lower in the water and get um, basically a more, I guess, uh, cruising um, speed or, or whatnot when you're paddling. But uh, we notice we like the higher position because we tend to hit the uh, handles when we're in the lower position. But we were using uh, shorter paddles, and that's uh, one other thing that we want to bring up is we went with a, a longer paddle, 250 uh, centimeter um, paddle, versus uh, the other one that we were using, I believe that was a 220. So it's kind of short for uh, what we wanted uh, or what we needed for this one. So we went with a 250, and it seems to be working really well for us. So um, that's one of the things that we uh, uh, noticed when we took it out on a test run. Initially, um, this front holder, we put a rail blazer um, uh, mount. And we tried our rail blazer um, mount on it. Rail blazer two is what it's called, and it works well. Just it's too far forward. And what we'll tend to use this one for most likely is um, probably mount our fish finder. Uh, it's got some uh, attachments as well, some Scotty uh, attachments versus just rail blazer. And um, we'll probably put something here instead. Um, but overall, we like the uh, kayak. Very stable. Can able, able to stand on it. Uh, able to get in and out without uh, flipping over, like uh, in some other cases that uh, certain individuals have fallen in that and uh, gotten wet that way. Uh, has four rod holders, two facing forward, two facing aft. Uh, also has a, a compartment up forward that uh, you can use for some dry storage. Uh, get a dry bag or put a little uh, container bag in there, and it'll work uh, well with keeping your stuff in there. And it does lock, so. Uh, if you do flip over, you still can uh, be sure that uh, your stuff's going to stay in the uh, kayak. Additionally, uh, we do like the handles, make it a little bit easier to uh, carry uh, to and from the uh, uh, put in place, or we're going to put in. Uh, additionally, uh, one thing we noticed uh, it's 10 foot long, 55 pounds. Uh, we saw some other ones in about the uh, 12 or 10 foot range. Uh, Silver kayaks and found that they're about another five to ten pounds heavier, so uh, that's kind of nice uh, when uh, you're going to and from the uh, lake, uh, loading up as well as uh, putting in and getting uh, uh, getting out on the water. Uh, so keep it simple, easy to launch, easy to load. Therefore, you'll use it more. Uh, so that's it. That's uh, what we had on the Pelican Pelican kayak, Pelican Catch 100. It's a ten foot version of the similar Pelican Catch 120. And so far we've liked it. That said, uh, we'll catch y'all later. Next time, good luck and good fishing.